Now that was a special performance and let's talk about it. Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to Broken Nose Boxing's post-fight reaction. First one of these I've done in a while for Kel Brook's sixth round TKO victory over Amir Khan in what was a long-awaited British grudge match. So, Brook wins the fight and is really completely dominant. In my prediction video, I was, you know, I was just like throwing darts against the wall trying to figure out who had the most left. And I thought both punch resistance of both fighters was completely shot, but Brook in the end proved to be the less shot fighter and he was dominant. There was maybe two rounds in the fight where Khan had a success in like two minutes of the round and then just fell to pieces in the final 30 seconds of pretty much every round. He was hurt in the first. I don't think he really ever recovered. With Brooke hot and Khan in that first round, Khan was already on the back foot and basically was just on the back foot the whole fight. Brooke stalking him, walking him down, pressure style and um, Brooke looked very dominant in the fight. I do think he could have stopped Khan a bit earlier. You know, Khan was really throwing light combinations infrequently. Brooke was just loading up on his famous chocolate brownie right hook over the top and he was just, <laughs> it, was a it was a fight where Brooke Khan was obviously hurt for pretty much the whole fight and Brooke could have it could have made that easier. It could have went to the body, slow can down. It could have maybe, you know, throw feints, throw a few jabs, um, just to mix up the punch variety. But he was pretty confident he was stopping can. And in the end, he was right. You know, he was right. He did stop can. A very good performance from Kel Brook. A massive confidence boost in Brook's career. And the fight was at a catch weight, but both of them weighed closer to welterweight than they did super welterweight. What I'm thinking is that I'd like to see Brook continue his career at super welterweight. He was in great shape. He looked really solid. I don't think he was hurt at any point in that fight. He looked really strong. And, you know, Brook needed that win. Brook needed that win. I think if Brook lost that, he would have retired. And there are a lot of fights at super welterweight for Kel Brook. I think he should campaign at super welterweight. I don't think he should go back to welterweight at all. I don't think his punch resistance is there at all. The, you know, just look up the Terence Crawford fight. Brook looked good in this fight. I want to stress that he looked really good in this fight and I'd like to see him continue his career at super welterweight. Congratulations, Kel Brook, on a brilliant victory. However, Amir Khan looked terrible tonight. His punch resistance is obviously at an all-time low. He was hurt with a power punch in, this, in the first round and never really recovered. And um, yeah, he looked kind of out of ideas. He didn't really seem to have any power. And um, changing trainer was probably a mistake. You know, you can't really learn that much from a trainer when you're in your mid thirties and you've only got one camp to do any learning. You know, the, the trainer could be saying the best things in the world, but if you're not really able to implement it on the night, it doesn't matter. I think that's kind of what we saw there. I think Can was probably looking to outbox Kettlebrook, but the punch resistance just... The, the, the big punch in the first round, I think, was really the coup de grace for the rest of the fight, and that's a very fancy word. I would like to see Amir Khan retire. I don't think he really has anything left at anywhere near a level that he would want to continue at. He's had a very, very good career. He's done a lot, been in a lot of big fights. He's had a lot of big losses, some very big wins, but I think Amir Khan should retire. I think that's what, I, that's what I would advise him to do. I think his trainer at Bomac, his new trainer Bomac would probably advise him to retire as well. The night belongs to Kel Brook. Victory in the sixth round in a bitter grudge match. Maybe at some point in the future, these two lads will be friends. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but congratulations, Kel Brook, on a very good victory, and I look forward to seeing him in his next fight, hopefully at Super Welterweight. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, hit the like button. 
you want to check out my Patreon site, you can get early access to every single one of my videos. There's a link in the video description. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.